Hey, I got a uh, two brand new GP pointers here. Yeah, I ordered these. The price on these are going down is just unreal. I think I paid $26 for the pair. And a couple years ago, I put a video up comparing a GP pointer to the Nocta pointer and then the Garrett Carrot. And that GP pointer just did terrible. Viewers that actually wrote and said maybe I got a bad one. So what it's seeing the price so cheap again which you can see these on on eBay they're like I said anywhere from the lowest I seen was $13 up to whatever someone wants to charge but you can buy these all day long now and these come right from China it takes a little bit to get here so what I'm going to do is compare these again to the Nocta pointer and this one here is the X pointer by Detechnics I believe yeah and I've never used this. We're going to compare these, and I just want to see how these stack up. Pinpointers are running upwards of $100, maybe more new. And you can pick them up for $13. It makes a person wonder, is it worth it? So let's get set up and hurry up and get rolling. All right, to start it out with, I'm going to use a ruler here. And I got a dime with hot glue attached and then a little tiny washer. And the first test, what we're going to do is... I think I'm going to bury that dime. We'll try, we're going to start out at three. And I got just regular sand here. I didn't go quite deep enough, never know. We're going to try that. First up is going to be the black GP pointer. And we'll go through what you get with these when you buy them. Uh, simple turn on and go. I think there's three modes. You got vibrate and sound, and then just sound, and then just vibrate. So here we go. See the light on there. Hey, too bad, but it's not very bright. And there is no turning it up or down. Okay, it's not hitting it. Now we'll do the orange one. All right, number two, the orange GP pointer. Okay, it's not hitting it. All right, now I got the X pointer. I got this cranked all the way up. This has different settings along with different sensitivity. If I were to you hold this bottom button down and hit it once. That's the lowest. There's the next one up. That's the next setting up. That's all the way up. We got it all the way up. It's not doing it. So the X pointer cranked isn't hitting that target down either. Now the Nocta pointer. That you just turn on. You can turn your settings up and down with this, down and up. It's quite simple on this. I got the setting all the way up. You see it there? This thing is, and plus, I have a plastic thing over it too. That takes a little bit away. Look at that. And shutting it, turning it on and off is simple. You just hold it down. That's off. To turn it on, hold the green on. And the light. I think you hit both these together. Yeah. You said turn it down. And the light, if you look, how bright that light is. It's actually quite bright. Let's look at the X pointer's light output. Oh, that thing is bright. I like that one. That's a bright, little bit brighter than the note does, I think. I don't know how far down you have to go. You know what? We're going to pull the plastic out. I'm at, at two inches there. Just under two, it starts picking that up. The orange G, GP pointer. I'm literally down to a half an inch away. Right on top of it. We got a smaller little washer. There's the inch mark. It's about a half an inch away. We're going to get rid of the sand. Alright, now the black GP pointer against the dime inch. About a half an inch, same as the other one. Now you got your sensitivities all up along the side. Starting there and working its way down. That's about what that uh, other one 
that I tested a couple years ago did was the same. What about the X pointer? They got it cranked all the way up yet. Two inches away. Just under two inches. You notice the sound? Kind of like that. It sounds pretty decent. Uh, we'll go to the smaller washer. Looking at about an inch there. About an inch. Now as far as on the side sensitivity. Pretty much almost the whole length of this is sensitivity. Now we'll do the Nocta. This thing's loud. It's all the way up. There's three inches. Right at two. You hear the, the only thing I've noticed with the Nocta, the sound doesn't change much until you get right on top of it. A little over two inches about two and a quarter it picks that up for that dime as far as the washer same thing over two inches this thing is so sensitive look at that I'm gonna turn it down a little show you on the the whole length Very sensitive metal detect uh, pin pointer and easy to use. If you notice there, up down, you hit it twice. You can you change your uh, turn your light on and off. You hit both buttons the same. Your speaker is right up on the end, right here. So it's pointing at you when you're in the ground uh, looking for stuff. Where all these other ones, the speakers on the side of it. Where if you had your hand, you could have your hand over the edge. Like on this uh, Pro Pointer. Muffles it down quite a bit. Might not be able to tell that on the camera, but you do. Alright, one last test where we talk a little bit more about it. That's a little tiny piece of copper. A little bit bigger than the head of a ballpoint pen. And here's the note to Pointer. And I'm not even on high. Very sensitive. That's the Nocta X pointer on high. This is the same as the Garrett carrot. It won't pick this up either on my other video. GP pointer. I'd be amazed if it does. Nope. Nope. As far as sensitivity, them GP pointers, it's about the same as what I thought on my other one. I don't think I got a dud. Uh, you're getting less than a half an inch on a dime. A quarter, you'll probably do better. Now, the other thing with these GP pointers, for $15, you are getting a very rugged case. And I don't understand this part, though. Why they put the Velcro on it like that and it just sewed on there they should have it so you could loop through or something but I have a feeling in a short amount of time you get a belt or something there that's gonna come apart and you're gonna have problems you're gonna end up having to rivet that on probably I would say if you rivet it on you do good but otherwise very sturdy and then you get a, a stretchy lanyard that goes with it for Literally, like I said, 13 bucks have paid for it. As far as the X pointer, it's the same thing. But that one's got a, a button on it to lock it. So you can uh, be a little bit more robust. And the other one with the X pointer, you can lock a stretchy lanyard. I don't remember if that came with it or not. I don't think so. But you can run it like that pretty neat. Now as far as the Nocta, that came with this case. 
when I first got it, I thought, man, that's flimsy. But I've run this in and out of there thousands of times. And this is what it looks like yet. You can go through here with a very heavy, with a belt, or just clip it on, which I did. But it does hold. The only thing it does, though, is it seems to flop around more than the other cases. But it does work good. Two brand new GP pointers. Uh, they're not the most sensitive in the world. They do get the job done. I'm telling you that though. If you're, you know, you're there, if you got a, a like I said, that's a dime. There's two inches. You literally got to be within a half inch of it to find it. And I really don't like that. It kind of takes away the ability that you have when you're using a pinpointer versus not using one. And the X pointer, it's a little over, about almost two inches, one and three quarters on a dime. Not too bad. And then the note, of course, is over two inches. I want to get a little bit bigger target, and we'll see what that does. All right, that GP pointer, big chunk of brass. There's three inches, two inches. One inch, about an inch away, it's hitting it. The other one, about an inch away. The X pointer, get it on high. Man, about four inches away. Literally four. That's pretty good for that big target, actually. You could go metal detecting with it. The Nocta. I don't know what setting I got it on. Little over four. About four and a half inches away pretty good so anyways that's a GP pointer test once again maybe in another year I'll try it again but that's three for three that are less than a half inch for uh, sensitivity but you just it's up to you what you want to do like I said yeah if you're you're down in a hole digging around um, I would rather it be get about an inch and a half of sensitivity in there to f be able to pinpoint it better but, I mean, a half will work. So, there you go. Until next time.